black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, 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 if it isn't you again. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm having some Pizza Hut again. I know, I had it like last week or two weeks ago, but I need it again. So, there's that. Pizza Hut comes with a bunch of stuff that I have to get set up, so let's get it onto the board here. So we got the Zaza. Next up, we got these boneless bites. Ah, oh, no. Sauce on the pants. I just did laundry yesterday. No, that is not chill. We must pour up a ranch. Brought my own bottle, of course. Brought some Frank's Red Hot to the party, and we must pour up. Today we're going full sugar Pepsi. Can't wait. Ooh wee. Welcome to the MGM Grand, Las Vegas, everybody. That's what we say every time now. Man. Oh my God, a nice cold Pepsi on ice. You can't go wrong. It's too good. Yes, please. Straight from the region of Burgundy. A Bordeaux blend, a Napa Valley classic. And we also got the Cinna, Cinna Bonds. Chuck them while they're hot. Looking nice, nice and Nikki Glazer. Lana Glazer, very glazed. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So, what do we do? We got our pineapple pepperoni. Had to do it to him. We dunk a deep dip. You know what I'm saying? And we go as ins. This situation right now, out of control. And I forgot my napkin. Mm-mm-mm. That, ladies and gentlemen, is really something else right now. It's extra good because I went out to a friend's birthday last night. So one might be able to imagine what my current state is. Shout out mushrooms and olives on pizza, so good. Salty and earthy. And to be frank, we franks it. Man, I forgot how good Frank's is. My favorite. The big bite eating videos are satisfying. Dude, I'm in Pepsi heaven right now. So, so good. So yeah, I guess I'll say in this one, um, just a big shout out to uh, those who bought merch. It was a very successful ca campaign. Raised up some capital and now I can order the piece of equipment that I've been needing to make music so shout out to all you guys who bought merch and then a couple people donated on the site too which was huge like so so thankful for that that's crazy like at checkout they donated more money so I will be buying musical gear to continue with my 
creation of music and passions and hobbies and things like that. Very, very uh, thankful for that. So that's amazing. I like the design of that. That logo. Might be might do it again. But uh in regards to the merch, because I sold enough, they actually let me have once you sell a certain amount, you can they they'll give you a store that you can have open. So I got approved for that through that site, through Bonfire. So I might be able just to have like an ongoing site for that. And then I can change up the designs too. As the, you know, as we enter new, new times, new territory, new season, whatever, just coming up with the, some fresh designs. I actually already made like eight or nine different designs. I got so hyper about it the other day. And went design crazy for like the next almost like I guess I can release them all at once probably they're pretty cool I think some of you guys will be into them I basically try to make the designs um more just like universally friendly like you could wear it out of the house and people just be like oh that's a cool shirt where'd you get that like nothing too like in indicative of like mukbang or like or even black hoodie just like the whole just stay true with like on these other ones I have certain like graphics that are going to be on there like on one there's a burger one there's a pizza one there's a hot dog like it's just a little chest emblem and stuff so just try to make it a little more like you could just wear it out of the house and it seems like like normal you know not too like I've got a dirty little secret I lay in bed late at night and watch eating videos and this is the shirt you know this is hitting right now so hard I forgot about the set of buns. I'm such a not a dessert person. As you guys can tell by now, I never eat desserts on the channel, which I'm, I'm meaning to switch up. I'm going to implement some sweet stuff soon. I just keep me like, not getting around to it. I mean to do it, and then I'm like, nah, I'm craving this more. Like, I always just like fall victim to my crave that day. I'm like, sure, it'd be cool to do like a big banana split or something. But then when it comes time, I'm like, nah, I want like a burger. But that is an area where I lack sweets, desserts. There's a chick named Salted Caramel. She eats desserts like all the time. And Megan McCullum McCull is so dessert. I'm 
Okay, that being said, let's have a Cinnabon. I must have a little Peter North, if you will. Ooh, gooey, so gooey. There you go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good. Really good. Soft, hot, tender. Cinnabon pasta. Popping, but just like me, I can't eat, I can eat two, and then it's like it's too much, it's too sweet. My palate just does not handle sugar very well, like the, like in that form. Yeah, it's enough. I'll tell you what's hitting it out of the park right now is this ice cold Pepsi. Probably my favorite part of the meal. Okay, where am I at here? Do I pour one more? Have one more slice and call it a an evening? I think I may. That's definitely my magic number with pizza. I'm usually good for about four slices. That's like the perfect number. I can always push it past like a slice or two, but four is like the magic pizza number. Right now I'm entering the territory of lay down, take a napville. We're gonna go further. The belly ache, upset tummy. Mm -hmm. Best part. If I could get it in my mouth. That's it. That's another thing. Good thing. A good thing about Pizza Hut too is it is good leftover. It. it it translates well in the, in the leftover stages of its life. Okay, well, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.